right, what's up guys? So this is gonna be a video on backing up your Valheim server. I chuckle there because uh, this is like the fourth time I've recorded this. I've messed up numerous times talking about it. Uh, I tell you, man, making videos like this, you think this would be easy and this is an easy video and it still takes hours. But anyhow, so basically I wanted to show you guys how to back up your Valheim server. So this is the, this backup script I'm going to install or configure rather and install on uh, the same Valheim server that I showed you in my dedicated Valheim server install. So, so if you're, if you went through that guide and uh, followed instructions there, then, then this will fit perfectly because we're going to use the home steam folder and stuff like that. So if you installed Valheim your own way, then you're going to have to adapt. And at that point you probably can just write your own backup script. But anyhow, so <clears throat> basically, uh, what it is is it's it's two shell scripts. One is going to be the backup script. The other is going to be a, um, a clear backups is what I call it, and it's basically management of the the backup files. And so I only want to keep thirty days worth of backups, and so uh, the clear backups is what what um, deletes anything older than thirty days. Um, so let's get started. So basically, it's going to be pretty simple. The first thing we're going to do is vi backup dot shell shell script sh. I'm going to hit i for insert. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to copy this, which, by the way, I'll put this text in a link in the description of the video. OK, so I want to go over these lines for you. Uh, backup files is the file. So this is a variable. It's the file location for what you're going to back up. So the Valheim Worlds files are stored under the, con the user context for um, where you installed the, the game itself. And then dot config unity 3d iron gate valheim worlds and that's literally where the world files sit and it's only like five four or five files or something like that that are in that folder and then uh the destin uh, the backup file name variable is uh part of the the file name itself i'll show you that in a second destiny <coughs> uh excuse me Destination is the, the location that we're going to save these backup files. That's a variable. Day is a variable. It's um, taking the current date and time and, and make it into a string to put into the, the backup file name. And then archive file is literally the name based off of two different variables, the day, so that date, time, string that we made, and then the backup file name, which is Valheim. So it's literally going to just be like a date, time, and then valheim.tar.gz. The next thing that happens is we want to make sure we stop the Valheim service prior to backing it up. And uh, the next line is a tar command, which does the actual backup piece. And that is essentially saying, where are we going to, where's the file going? What's the name of this backup file? And then what files are we backing up? And then the next, the final, uh, almost final step is to clear the old backup. So anything that's older than 30 days in this case will be removed. And then let's start that Valheim server back up. So that's essentially it. So I'm going to hit escape, get out of insert mode, colon, right, quit, enter. And we want to make sure we do a chmod plus x backup. And uh, make it an executable uh, shell script. So um, one other thing I forgot to add in here because I already have it, but you can see this backups folder. So I'm already running backups. And uh, so I already had the folder, but you're going to want to create that folder. So make dir under home steam so you can see where I where currently am, right? You can see that in the in the prompt as well. I'm trying to block this right here like that. There we go. Okay, so uh, just do a make dir backups. Again, I already have it. I can show you what's in there right now. You can see some backup files. And these are created via that backup script. All right. So uh, the next thing we want to do is create the clear backups which file uh, script, which basically manages the how long we keep backups. So we're going to go ahead, VI, edit that, insert mode, come over here to copy paste this and it's a pretty simple script essentially it's just a find command i want to find within home steam backups that folder we just created type f file and i want to find any file that is older than 30 days and that's what the dash m time plus 30 means so if you want to make 15 oh you say you only want 15 days of backups that's fine just type in plus 15 instead of plus 30 if you want 90 plus 90 whatever it is that you want dash exec means execute something on each of the files that you find. And so we're going to say remove forcefully those files. So it's going to delete any file that's older than 30 days. Escape, right quit, ch, ch mod plus x, clear, perfect. So I'm doing a big no-no with my logging in as root here. I don't know if you noticed that, but I, I elevated my access prior to the video start and I did a sudo-s, which makes you uh, root. 
be very careful with root because if you type any commands that are wrong and push enter, I mean, it'll literally, it'll execute them, right? There's no, hey, are you sure this is what you want to do? No, it just happens. And so make sure you pay attention to that. Some of these commands could potentially be very devastating to your uh, Linux server. If you, as an example, if like you did a chown, which I've shown you in a couple other videos, and you said chown steam, steam, and you did a slash, guess what? That's going to change the ownership of every single file at the root level. You don't want to do that. Um, if you if you said chown dash r steam steam, I think that's the order of operations. I'm not going to push enter to test it, but that would literally change every single file in your entire Linux uh, instance to well every file that it could, which there's probably only a handful that it can't to uh, the owner, user, and group Steam. So uh, that would be crap. You'd have to reinstall your server. That would be terrible. So you definitely don't want to do a command like that. You could do a command like this, right? Because I'm doing dot, which is relative, a relative folder to where I am, home Steam, versus this is absolute, means the root folder. So the, literally the difference between these two commands is, is one's devastating and the other one's what you wanted to do, possibly. And I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, dot here. Pay attention, don't do the slash. And I'm gonna change the ownership of everything under home steam to owner steam steam. And right now, so previous listing, I, you could see it was root root here and root root here, right? So now if I do an LL, you'll see they're both steam. That's what we wanted. All right, so the last step, let's see, clear backups, backup, perfect. So the last step we wanna do is edit the cron tab. And you see there's nothing in there. Cron tab is a scheduled task in Linux. I'm doing a cron tab under the root context. So we're going to say cron tag, cron tab dash E. It's going to edit it. And the way the cron tab works, um, this is, we're going to do a very basic one, but essentially the first variable in the line is, is minutes. How, like what minute do you want this to run? Next one is what hour do you want it to run? And then the next three of them are uh, day of the month, month, and day of the week. And we don't care about any of that because we want it running every single day. So it's going to be star, star, star. And then the command you want to run. So in this case, it's home steam. Backup.shell script. That's it. Save it. Control-O to save. Control-X to exit. And nano. Go back to cron tab dash L for list. You can see the jobs there. Scheduled task is there. And that means now every day at 3 a.m., my backup script will run. And uh, that's pretty good because that means we've got a, a backup now, daily backup happening of the Valheim server. <clears throat> um, one thing I did want to mention is make sure your time zone is correct. Uh, I don't, you think I'd remember this, but I don't remember how to edit the time zones. Yeah, it, there, you can do some research on that. Just make sure you're in the right time zone because um, I was not when I first started this backup script and didn't realize that until, until um, my my server kept bumping me off at 8 p.m. At, at night while I was playing. And you can see the file name date right here, right? 20. 20 o'clock is, is 8 o'clock, 24-hour time. And that's because my time zone was GMT 0 when I'm actually GMT 7, minus 7. So so when I set the, set the scheduled task to be 3, the time zone messed it up and it actually ran at 8 p.m., not 3 a.m., minus 7. So, right, 3 a.m. minus 7 would be 8 p.m. So anyhow, so just make sure your time zone is right. Make sure your date is right. And um, so basically that that's it. This literally should work. So what I want to do, though, is we're going to run a, a sample backup here. I'm going to say backup. And let's see what happens. It should create another file in that backup folder. It should start, stop the, yep, stop the service first. Start the service, or start, excuse me, stop service, back up the files. You can see the five, uh, four files that it backed up and then restart the server. Okay, so the backup ran successfully. So let's just go look at the backup folder really quick. And you can see that I have a new file here and it's literally at the time we re ran this, which is 936 in the morning. You see the data time here matches the file name, right? Um, that's essentially it. Let me just talk about really quick on, on how I would restore from one of these files. And so that's these steps right here. And this is hypothetical. I actually haven't ran this with Valheim yet, so. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'd work. I mean, I copied the Valheim world over here from my personal desktop um, when I set up the dedicated server. So this would really be no different. So essentially what you do is you would stop the Valheim server service. So system control stop Valheim and then remove any existing files. You just clear them out, like whether that's a move to somewhere else because you don't want to delete them or you can just do this command and delete them. And then uh, you're going to want to restore one of these backup files, right? So we've got any of these over here that we could use to restore from. 
and um, I'm restoring them straight to root. And the reason for that is because in these files, the uh, folder location is actually kept. And so if we were to come into that file and say tar t for view list rather, it's a TVF verbose uh, one of these files. So let's just pick one. Let's pick 19. Let's pick the 3 a.m. one. And so it's going to show me the contents of the file. And you can see that the contents are home steam config, right? So it's keeping the pathing, not just the file name. It keeps the full path. So if I didn't extract this into the root folder, but instead extracted it into this folder, rather this folder, then it would be, it would double up the folder. So it would look like your restored files would look something like this. Home steam config unity, and then slash home steam config unity, right? That's literally what it would look like. And then your worlds were there. Obviously that wouldn't work. So you'd have to restore straight into the, into the uh, root folder to um, continue using these these relative paths. And I'm sure if you if you look at the tar variables, you could probably say ignore um, ignore folder location. But in this case, we're just going to go with re um, keeping keeping the folder location during the extract. And then I always run this command here, right? So just for afterwards, just set the the steam steam on the on the files that you extracted, and then start your Valheim service back up. And you would literally be running a different world or or whatever the restoration world was uh, that you had backed up. And uh, so that's basically it. Hope this was a helpful video, video for you guys. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or concerns. And I'll see you in the next video.